Hello people this is self tuts and we are continuing our series on docker for beginners and in this video we will learn that how we can install docker on any operating system let's say windows mac or linux so docker can be installed on any operating system so there are many developers in this world and they use different operating systems for their development purpose that can be either windows or macintosh or linux and if we go on linux then they can have different flavors let's say ubuntu or they can have centos or they can have red hat i'll be explaining a simple thing like how you can install any software on different operating system before going on to the details let's understand two things first is like whenever there is a operating system so we can have different versions of the operating system so let's say for windows you can have windows 10 windows 11 if you go for ubuntu then we can have ubuntu 14 18 20 and currently i think it is 22 for mac also we have different versions like mac camry or there can be some different versions of macintosh which can come into the market and if we talk about the software then a particular software let's say docker can also have their different versions so it becomes really difficult to find a particular uh, blog or a particular post where you can see that okay uh, this software version or this docker version can be installed on this version of windows so it's better whenever you are trying to do a installation go and read through the original installation process of that particular software and it will help you to install that in any operating system so in this video we'll see how we can install docker in any operating system for that let's go to our chrome and what we can do here is we can say installed docker in the first link only you will get the official documentation for docker installation you can see here we have installed docker engine and this is docker docs.docker.com so let's go here and here if we come you can see they have written a very good documentation and you can choose your platform so platform means what it is the operating system so you can use docker desktop for linux you can use docker desktop for mac you can use docker desktop for windows so these docker desktops are graphical user interface you can also use the server mode so let's say we don't have graphical user interface of ubuntu 20 which we are which will be also using in this course uh, for doing the development purpose related to docker so a operating system can have a graphical user interface also or they can be a server based like there is no graphical user interface and you will just use the command line so if you see the server mode then you have centos debian fedora rehl ubuntu and there are a, there, there can be n number of server related operating systems and for graphical user interface you can have like windows has its own graphical user interface mac has its own so you can follow this link and then go to each step and then finally install it on your operating system what we are using is ubuntu 20 on our windows wsl so let's not go into the details let's say we are using ubuntu 20 as our server where we'll be installing the docker so let's go here and if you see here this is our ubuntu 20 server i have already docker installed here so if i see docker so you will see that okay docker is already present here but if you want to install so just go here ubuntu and then finally you have the pre requirements os requirements installation method and you can have list of commands which you can generally use so you need to just go through it like to install docker engine you need 64 bit version of one of the ubuntu version so it is 22 ubuntu bionic 18 for older versions you need to first uninstall it so for that also you have command so let's go and see the installation method so there is docker engine which is docker desktop for linux and you can also do it manually and install using the apt repository so we all know that the default package manager of ubuntu is apt and you can use these commands to basically install it so what you need to do just copy this command just copy this command download add docker official gpg key use the following command do the update because we have added new repositories and everything and finally we will be installing docker using this so just copy this command and then you can, your docker will be installed so see why i am going through this process because later on the operating system version can change and then your docker version can also change so whenever you are viewing this video so you can follow that particular version of your operating system 
and the docker and then finally install it let's go back here if you want to install it on let's say macintosh so you just go and click here docker desktop for mac and you can just see that okay double click on the dmg file first you need to download it so docker desktop for mac with apple silicon docker desktop for mac with intel chip so you can use the underlying details of your machine and then download that uh, file that is in mac we call .dmg file and then double click it and it will be installed okay you can also use the command line to install it so these are the command so this process really becomes useful because later on after two months or three months if you are seeing this videos so these versions can change and you can just go to a particular operating system either the graphical user interface based or the server based and just follow those commands and you can install it so i am not going to install in all the operating system i have explained you the process which can help you in installing docker on your machine and i'm 100 percent sure that okay in the first shot only it will get installed on your machine without any issues i have my own website so if i go self in you can see here okay i have this website and here you can search i have already uploaded a blog post on how to install docker on ubuntu 22.x later on I'll be gradually uploading it for different machines so it can be really useful for you to just copy and paste the commands from here. So I'll be adding new blog post related to different operating systems and Docker version so that it becomes easy for you to just copy and paste from here and then download it on your machine. But the first process that I've explained is really useful for any software to install. Always follow the official documentation and it will really help you. So hope you like this video, hope you like my channel, please share these videos with other people and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.